Cool. Now let's go over a batch equation. A batch equation is very, very interesting. It's in general, depending on the case, if you are having a reactor, let's see this example, because we have many, many types of batch process, but we're going to see here the reactor one. There's no inlet. What does that mean? You feed, and once it's full, you will start the actual analysis. It's full, times zero, it's full, times zero, it's full, let's say, of A. We're going to produce this equation A turns to B with temperature. There's no outlet, I'm not going to take out with time. I'm going to wait all the A to react and then I'm going to discharge the product. So we have no inlet, no outlet and since it's a closed system I'm going to have accumulation because A is dropping and B is increasing. So production, yes we have production, it's actually B. And consumption, yes we have consumption, it's A. So that's why we have accumulation because in time zero we will have an amount of A and B and in time and let's say final time we will have A and B different. These are not the same guys, so take care. That's why there's accumulation. The variables are changing with respect of time, so accumulation cannot be taken away. This is just one example, but let me tell you another type of batch etc. 